welcome to the second video of my bookshelf. So I recorded all of this in one day. So if I say if I say something that's like, oh, like what I mentioned a while ago, obviously I just meant the other video. So this includes like CDs and drawings I made in some planners and some books I actually read and understood. So yeah, keep watching. God, I am grandma. Jesus Christ, how do you use this? Oh my motherfucking asshole. Oh yeah, it's from Sir Martin. There's his signature. I don't know. It's kind of a funny story. Life is a nightmare, no joke. I highlighted life is a nightmare right there. The bro code, legit money grab from Himian, which is by the way not even a good show. Rule number 69, duh. This one, how they met and other stories. And when I was in high school, I used to be like, oh, I'm reading all these books, I'm so much smarter than all these other people. Works for being a wallflower. The pinnacle of 2010's young adult books. You wanted to sleep for a thousand years, or just not exist, or just not be aware that you do exist. And after I read that, I went on to look for other books, and this was actually a pretty good book. What if we could take pictures of our dreams? What if there were a way to document the visions we have while we sleep? Maybe we could know ourselves better and learn better ourselves. Eat, pray, love! This, I think this was one of the books in high school where I was like, hmm. That makes a lot of sense, but I wasn't gonna go out and like move to India. Very insightful without leaving the house. Which is I guess the point of books. I think this is one of those you know, when I was in high school I just go on Google and Google like books like the or books like books like perks of being a wallflower or I'd go like books by John Green, books by David Levithan and just like read all of those authors books like I was collecting them which I guess I was what the fuck is this book is this mine? I don't even know I don't think this is mine it's signed what the hell for sharing the journey I share with you my life story Nolly what the fuck who the fuck is this I guess it's like my mom's or my Never read it, never saw the movie. I always said I'll read it before I watch the movie. Never did both. My two Scott Pilgrims, I wanted to finish them all, but I mean, I finished them but in PDF form. I never bought all of the books. Another book I didn't read, but there's stuff inside. A bus ticket. Tuesdays with Mari. Another book that actually I was able to get through one time here in Batangas. Because we didn't have internet yet then, so I had to do something. And so I read this book. I reread this book, and it's so good. If you're trying to show off for people at the top, forget it. They will look down at you anyhow. Here's another book I bought at a book sale. Dr. Seuss and Company Go to War. Let's read it. Let's read it right now. I don't know if you read that. You have to read that. Dr. Seuss is a dick, dude. Wasn't his wife, like, his wife had cancer and he left her for another woman? It's basically like political commentary. It's those political things, political drawing things. Look at that. Swastika right there. Hitler. This was at the time when, I guess, Germany was losing already. Okay, now we're getting to the DVDs. I collected some DVDs, by some I mean like six. Harry Potter, Rent, but this is Harry Potter and it's- wow, Holographics! But I hated this- I hate the last Harry Potter movies. I- why do I have two movies? I have two Harry Potter and I have the Blood Prince DVDs. I don't know why. Jonas Brothers. I guarantee you all of these CDs. I can still say every single lyric of each song. 
Next CD is a mixtape somebody gave me. I'm not sure who. There is no name. Uh, she's only 16. Miley Cyrus Breakout. Bottom of the Ocean, Wake Up America. <laughs> yeah. Put them all together so you see how crazy I am about Hannah Montana. So I have three Fallout Boy CDs. I have, I started collecting them when Folly Ado came out. I guarantee you also, I still know every single word. I forgot the last guy. I just know Bad Trip, Pete. I don't know if this is Joe or the other guy. There was a poster that came with it, but I never wanted to put it up because I didn't want to damage it, which was a very good idea. Look at this. Isn't this the most 2010, 2010 2000 thing ever? So that was my first. I didn't buy the other ones. I don't know why. I'm not sure which came next. I think Believers never died came next. Look at that cutie Patrick. And the last one I bought, Save Rock and Roll. Oh, and here's the actual album cover. This is my Hannah Montana the movie. Let's get crazy. The Good Life. Why did they have to distinguish which ones were made by Miley, sung by Miley Cyrus, and which ones were sung by Hannah Montana? It's the same. Per I think this is the, the movie where we establish they're the same person, right? So why did why 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 do you have to say this song was sung by Hannah Montana? It's just the same person now. We get it. One of my valued possessions, Camp Rock CD, two disc collector's edition soundtrack. It came with stickers. I don't think I ever use the stickers. So here are the stickers that I did not use. Shane. It didn't, it didn't even say Joe Jonas. It just said Shane. Just a bunch of generic stickers. I could probably buy and make my own. Go away. Can you stop? Here's the lyric book? I don't know. It's, oh, too cool. <laughs> too cool for you. I'm too cool to know you. Don't take it personal. Don't get emotional. You know it's the truth. I'm too cool for you. The soundtrack and a DVD. DVD of not the movie. I don't know what the DVD is. Stop is Miley Cyrus. The time of our lives. Duet with the Jonas Brothers live. Duet is with two people, not one person in a group. So it's a quartet. Uh, one of the best ones, Hannah Montana 2 and Miley Cyrus at the back. And of course, Fearless. Out of all of these artists and bands, Taylor Swift is the only one I am still 100%, 100% listen to her all, all the time. Except maybe Fall Out Boy. I listen to them occasionally, but Taylor Swift like, I listen to that all day, every day, sure, no problem. Itchy Worms, the main course, I'll have this. Another mixtape from one of my friends. I think this is from Carmela. So thank you, Carmela. I really love this. I, I wish I could listen to it again, but I do not have a CD player. I also made a bunch for my friends. I mean, a bunch of mixtapes for my friends. And then beside that, this box. I'm not gonna show you what's inside, but it has some really nice letters and messages from all of my friends. Hey guys, so the video ended up being super long again. So I'll just make a part three, I guess. So just wait for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.